Well, hello there. It's August 20th. It's a Tuesday and the stock market rallied yesterday because one of the giants of China, Huawei, which has been a bargaining chip in this trade war we've been having, got a 90 day extension from President Trump to conduct business with U.S. companies. In other words, Huawei is going to be able to buy parts from U.S. suppliers for 90 more days. Now, this is good news, but again, it's a Band-Aid. It's not a solution. We haven't resolved anything in this trade war, and it doesn't look like there's a resolution to come. Here's my fear. China is going to become more aggressive as we get closer to the elections. I've been saying this, and I'm going to keep saying it, because President Trump has a very strong vested interest in watching the stock market go up. It's one of his biggest re-election campaign uh, positives. And he wants to say the stock market's near 52-week highs. And I think China's going to start hammering us on the deal as we get closer to re-election. Again, that's in the future. Put the call ratio. Market is not stretched out anymore. The rubber band is now neutral. Stock market is now, again, between the 50-day, that's the 50-day moving average, and the 200 day moving average, you're looking at the futures and the stock market's gonna open up in about an hour and 10 minutes. Again, I believe we're either gonna hit this 50 day line and back down, or we're just gonna back down from this point on. I don't think there's that much upside ahead, okay? We have FOMC meetings tomorrow. We have minutes from the, F not, we don't have an FOMC meeting tomorrow. We have minutes from the FOMC meeting tomorrow and because the Fed has been extremely transparent, a little too transparent, if you know what I mean, uh, we're not really expecting to hear anything new because they've already said we're not going to lower rates anymore. And heightening rates is not an issue right now because we're seeing signs that economy is beginning to slow down just a tad, especially with this trade war waiting in on everything. So let's look at the fear index. This tells us the fear level in the S&P 500. Usually above 20 means fear is rising. When it's below 20, fear is waning. Right now, we're already below 20. You see over the last three days, we came off. We're now in neutral territory, which means there's a good chance stocks will go a little bit higher. And again, I'm looking for resistance on the E-mini right around, right a little higher than where we're at right now, right around the 294 level. If you're looking at the SPY, that would be at the 294 level. So 2940 level on the E-mini S&P, 294 level and change on the SPY. If we break above the 50-day moving average for two days, there's a good chance we'll climb. But based on what I'm seeing in the momentum right now, it doesn't look like we're going to get that far. There's just no catalyst right now. Unless there's something major happens, I'm not seeing a major catalyst for more upside. Again. There could be a change in Fed data. Um, and also, don't expect a lot of trading action today. Typically, the day before the FOMC minutes come out, markets are muted. Let's take a look at the long bond ETF. Long bond is weaker right now. And we can expect a little congestion till we get a good idea of where the market's going to be heading. But right now, keep your eye out on that 294, 294, 30 level. I believe that's going to be resistance and the market's going to come back down and fluctuate between the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average. As far as sectors, you want to still stay with defensive sectors such as utilities. Notice utilities making new highs. That's what happens when markets are subdued. Defensive sectors like consumer staples and utilities, ticker symbol XLU, is where you want to be right now. You don't want to be in tech right now. Tech is in twilight zone right now. If you're if you're in tech, iron condors and credit spreads, non-directional spreads work best. I'll get you an update tomorrow. I'll talk to you soon. Guys, if you like these videos, please, please, please send me an email. Send me an email to support at marketgeeks.com. I'd love to hear from you. I need your feedback. Talk to you soon. Like our channel and subscribe to it. Bye.